Hey some Nigerians, Rose here. It's the School of Mathematics Nigeria. Now we want to talk about factors and multiples. What makes them different? Or let's see if they have similarities. This is one of the most talked about in mathematics. So let's get into it. Now factors, these are numbers that divide a given number without a remainder. I want you to take note of the word divide. So when you're dealing with factors, you have to know your division, okay? Multiples, these are numbers obtained as a product of a given number. So when you're talking about multiples, you have to know your multiplication table. So let's say you are given an example. You're asked to find the factors of eight. We want you to find those numbers that can go in eight without any remainder. So of course, one can go in eight without any remainder. Two can go in eight without any remainder. Four can go in eight without any remainder. And eight itself can go in eight without any remainder, right? But when you're asked to find the multiples of eight, we're saying that you have to know how to multiply eight by any number, any integer, right? So eight times one is eight. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, just your multiplication table. It keeps going like that. So what makes up the multiples of 8? This makes up the multiples of 8, okay? That's why you see that the answer is 8, 16, 24, and so on. Now, the factors of 8 has to always be less than or equal to 8. As you can see, these numbers are less than 8 or equal to 8. But the multiples of 8 will always be greater than or equal to 8. I hope we're getting it. Let's talk about some examples that you might come across when dealing with factors and multiples, okay? So when you're asked to simplify a fraction to its lowest term, in this case, you're talking about highest common factors. What are the highest common factors here? Meaning, what is the largest number that can go in 20 and simultaneously go in 25. 5 can go and 5 can go, right? But for those who do not know, you can come here and then list out those values that can go in 20. You, you have 1, right? You have 2, right? You have 4, 5, and 20. You have 1, 5, and what is the highest number between these two that is common? You have five, you have five. So you see that now you know that, oh, five can go in 20 and also go in 25, which is the highest value, right? So five here is four, five here is five. And this gives you the answer to this kind of question. Okay, so for this case, you have to know the highest common factors. And that's what, what will take us to the next topic, which is HCF and LCM. But before we get there, we have to know what this is, right? So now for cases of multiples, we've done this in the previous class, how to add and subtract fractions. We said that the first things first is to what? Find the common, lowest common multiple. What can go here and go here without any remainder? The multiples of 5, we said it's your multiplication table. 5, 10, 8. And then for 8, the multiples are 8, 16. The lowest common multiple here is 40, right? I'm doing this for people who do not have an idea, okay? For people who know, they will just do this. And then they just know right so 40 is the lcm so 5 and 40 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 8 and 40 is 5 5 times 4 is 20 and then you have 36 over 40 and for people who know you know that this can also be reduced to its lowest term right what's the highest number that can go here and go here that takes us to factors, right? The highest number that can go in 36 and go in 40 simultaneously is 4. So 4 here is 9. 4 here is 10. This is a proper fraction, right? And so you can leave it like this. So I hope this example was able to show you the difference between multiples and factors. I think we can do some more examples so we are together. So under factors, 
write three factors of 30 that are not take note that are not factors of 15. so we need to find the factors of 30 the factors of 15 and then choose the ones that are not factors of 15. now note this some people might not know let's solve if i say factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15. some people wonder how how does she know that that is why you have to know your division right what are those numbers that can go in 15 without any remainder you can come and do it like this okay so actually say what can go in 15 3 so 3 and 15 5 right 5 and 5 1 so you're left with 3 times 5 to make up 15 right remember also that 1 will always be a factor and 15 itself will always be a factor this makes up the factors of 15 now for 30 you can do the same thing we are 1 2 can go in 30 without any remainder 3 can go in 30 without any remainder 5 can go in 30 without any remainder 6 can go in 30 without any remainder 15 can go in 30 without any remainder and 30 itself okay so please practice 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 so you can know how to divide right so the question says that write three factors of 30 that are not 15. so what are the values here that we can't find here we can't find two here we can't find six here what else and we can find 30 here so your answer is two six and 30. I hope we're together on that one. Now let's move to the next question. So under multiples, we're given here are four digits. These are the four digits, right? And we're asked to choose two digits each time to make up a multiple of nine. So what are two digits here that can make up a multiple of nine? Remember, you have to know your multiplication table. What are the two you know we said that these are multiples you have to keep going and then whatever you get here are your multiples right so you have to know your multiplication table for nine to be able to form they said pick two digits here right to give you multiples of nine so from here we can already see we have two and seven 27 right we also have 72 Two digits you can add together to give nine are always multiples of nine so you have 27 to be a multiple of nine you have 72 to also be a multiple of nine of course 5 1 51 is not a multiple of nine 21 is not a multiple of nine 17 is not a multiple of nine 15 is not 12 is not no so the only two that are multiples of nine from these digits when you put them together are 27 and 72. these are ways that you answer questions in mathematics especially word problems where you have to read understand and break it down i hope you've been able to learn a thing or two about factors and multiples of course this leads us to hcf and lcm i needed you to understand this ground level so we can move from there so as you already know, my name is Rose. We said that factors, you have to know your division and for multiples, you have to know your multiplication table. And factors will always be less than or equal to the given number. Multiples will always be greater than or equal to the given number. All right, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. And of course, do not skip the ads. So it encourages us to keep putting out videos for you. I'll give you an exercise now and so you leave your answer in the comment section and please feel free to ask questions as you may in the description box we have other social media platforms links to other platforms you can follow us there and connect with us okay do it and leave your answer in the comment section the next class bye